In this section of the course, we're going to talk about angles. This is the first section of the class when we actually talk about what most people think is the central point of trig and definitely in pre-cal as well, which is angles. Okay, And I have to say that this section of the class is absolutely central. The other stuff that we talked about is very important, very, very necessary to move forward, but you need to spend some time with this section and make sure that you really understand it because everything is going to be built on you knowing this material. And uh, my goal is to teach you ways to remember the material so that you're not, you know, lost and that so you can kind of keep it in your head. Um, you're going to need to practice at this stuff, but this is, this is the central point of trig and of pre-calculus. So let's talk about an angle. What do you think an angle is? Okay, I think everybody has a pretty good idea of what an angle actually is um, in a general sense. If you have one line here and one line here, um, definitely there's some measure that describes how kind of far apart they are from the central point here. And we use the letter theta generally. I mean, you can use anything you want, but you use the, the, the Greek letter theta to describe the measure of how kind of how open these jaw, jaws are. Okay, so here's an angle. Okay, um, here here would be another angle. Okay, with let's say theta two. Okay, now definitely this this is more open than this. So we say theta two is greater than than theta. All I'm saying here is this angle is bigger than this one. Okay, and that kind of makes sense from looking at it. Okay. Angles are traditionally measured in a positive sense from, you know, in the uh, counterclockwise sense. So this is positive angle measure here, okay? Another example of an angle would be something like this. Again, we're going to measure the angle in a counterclockwise sense, and that's going to be positive measure. So if I'm looking at this angle here, that would be theta 3, and definitely theta 3 is greater than theta 2, which is greater than, than the first theta we put on the board. Um, somewhere in the middle here, somewhere in the middle here, I should point out that there's a special angle, okay, when, when it's exactly what we call 90 degrees, which means that um, you have something and the other line is, is like it's a direct hit. It's coming straight in at it like that. This is 90 degrees here, okay? So these angles, because they're not yet fully open, they're less than 90 degrees. These angles are called acute. They're, and if you want to be nice about it, you can say, well, they're cute little angles. They're cute. They're real small and cute. Okay. So they're less than 90 degrees. These angles are, are the only thing left over other than acute. Those are obtuse, obtuse angles. And I'm just trying to teach you the terminology because we'll You'll be learning about this in your class, and it's useful to know the definitions here. These are obtuse angles, and these are angles that are greater than 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees right here, and since this is open even more, that's an obtuse angle. Okay, so that's just a basic, basic introduction to what an angle is. I think most people probably already knew that part of it. So let's move on to, to something more interesting. I'm going to draw an xy axis, okay, like this. This is x, this is y. And usually we, we use this xy this, to plot equations, to plot graphs, to plot points.